My granddad marches on Anzac Day by Katrina Hoy and Benjamin Johnson. Here's one family's reflection on how they commemorate Anzac Day. is told through the eyes of a little girl and her reflections and experiences on this day as she thinks about her grandfather and his experiences in World War II. When you're reading the story, I hope that you can reflect on how your family commemorates Anzac Day and think about the traditions that your family may have. My family normally go to Johnson Park for the pre-dawn service. We have breakfast at the Belmont RSL Club and then we watch the football in the afternoon. This year, we won't be doing that. This year, on Anzac Day at 6 in the morning, my family will be on my driveway and we will be having a minute silence and holding a candle while my son Max plays the last post on the saxophone for our community. I have asked Max to play the last post for you, so watch for that in the story where you can hear him play that on his saxophone. I hope you enjoy the story. On Anzac morning, we get up very early. It is still dark. We drive in the dark and park the car. We put on our coats. It's always cold. We wait at the memorial for the sun to come up. There are sad poems and singing. We say, lest we forget, a bugle plays a lonely song. Then guns fire at the sky. Once, twice, three times. It makes me jump and it scares the seagulls. Later, we have cake and hot chocolate to warm us up. We find our spots for the parade. 
Then he gives me a badge, just like this. I sit on Daddy's shoulders. It's a very long wait, but my granddad will come. My granddad marches on Anzac Day. He wears his best jacket and has his shiny medals on his chest. He doesn't have much hair on his head, but he does have a big moustache. Granddad knows where we'll be waiting. He always smiles at me. Lots of people are marching, their legs all moving in time. Some of them play music. I feel their drums boom in my chest. Granddad marches with his friends. He remembers when they were young. He remembers when he was young. He marches for all his friends who can't march, and he marches for us. Some people can't walk. Some are pushed in wheelchairs. Some ride in cars. We clap and wave as they go past. Well done, boys, my dad calls out. They smile shyly and look pleased. Once, long ago, there was a war, my daddy says. Many soldiers fought and died in a place called Gallipoli. Some were from Australia, some were from New Zealand. They were called Anzacs. They died in places with names like The Neck, Lone Pine and Anzac Cove. Their mums and dads waited, but they never came home. My granddad marches to remember them. My granddad wasn't there. My granddad was in a different war. That's where he earned his medals. After the parade, my daddy says, I'm proud of you, mate, to granddad. He has tears in his eyes. Granddad is quiet. He's still remembering. One day I will march on Anzac Day and I will do the remembering.